On behalf of Epic Kohana and the High Hopes Initiative, aloha and welcome to the 10 year anniversary, High Hopes anniversary virtual celebration. My name is Patricia Du. I am 25 years old and I'm currently the president of the High Hopes Youth Leadership Board on Kauai. I have been a part of the board for seven years and have spent six and a half years in the foster care system before aging out at 18. I am currently working at Epic Kohana as the Pono Process Lead. I am thrilled to co MC today alongside my colleague and High Hope sister, Melissa Mayo. Thanks, Patty, and good morning, everyone. My name is Melissa Mayo. I am 20 years old. I spent five years in foster care from ages 13 to 18, and I've been on the board for three years now, and I'm currently the High Hope Board President, East Hawaii, as well as employed as a youth partner at Epic Ohana. Leaving a legacy continues to be an important part of our work. We understand how that to leave a legacy, you must live a legacy each and every day. The commitment by young leaders, High Hopes Initiative staff, funders, and our community partners to live that legacy through their passion, vision, collaboration, and strategic action, which allows the work to thrive. This work has impacted policy, practice, shifted mindsets, and touched heart in so many ways. The ability to live this legacy would be impossible without our funders. And we would like to acknowledge and thank you for all your generosity over the last few years. Ten years ago, when this all started, I was working both with White Community Foundation and with the Victoria and Bradley Geis Foundation. I guess the highlights for me are the young people and getting yeah. to know the young people and the incredible resilience that they demonstrate. But I think if we had to pick a moment is when the extending foster care to 21 uh, voluntary Ooh. foster care. I didn't think it was possible and it went through in the first legislative session as a tribute really to the High Hopes members and their commitment and their ability to share that experience mm -hmm. with the legislators. But that was a chicken skin moment for me. The value of the community partners. Um, we have incredible community partners who ha don't have that lived experience necessarily, but are bringing their expertise and their passion and their knowledge and their resources to the table to support the efforts. Um, and that's an important role as well as we go forward. Really a shout out to our staff. I mean, mm -hmm. you and Jean, um, Arlena, Lori, Pam have um, really been at the helm of helping keep this team together and moving us forward, each lending your talents to the work. For me, I'm incredibly grateful for having been part of, of even a small piece of making that happen. The White Community Foundation has been a proud partner with the I Hopes Initiative since inception 10 years ago under the Hawaii Youth Opportunities Initiative. And I humbly take on this role of managing the Victoria S. and Bradley L. Geist Foundation as it comes with a really deep and incredible experience of working with the Epic Ohana and the extended network of service providers dedicated to the High Hopes youth and their future success. With my leaders, Micah Kane and Michelle Kohane, I gladly follow in the footsteps of our predecessors, Amy Lurison, Pam Funai, and Kelvin Takeda. And with that being said, the Guys Foundation has been a backbone funder for this work and is committed to the growth and success of the program. And the foundation recently renewed its support for another four years. So thank you again for your hard work in the last decade. And I look forward to seeing what legacy you all will leave in the next one. You know, living a legacy takes strong collaboration with community stakeholders. And yet our efforts to lift up youth voice and garner support could not have had the impact we've witnessed without the partnership of the Department of Human Services and Child Welfare Services. It takes transparency and humility for system leaders to open their doors to listen, to learn, collaborate, and commit to change. The extended foster care, the Imoa Kako, yep. um, and that really, and all the partners that are involved, that really, I think, um, provided another safety net and um, benefits to the young people. So the second one is the Bill of Rights that, um, you know, really try to take to heart um, the, the perspectives of the young people. You know, just all those collaborations were, um, uh, to me, models of how we should do our work. Working um, with all the people that, you know, we care about and we serve, but especially the young people um, and your high hopes, 
uh, board and all of you that it's just been amazing. I feel very fortunate to um, have been partners with you folks. You know, changing hearts and minds doesn't only apply to the adult. It also applies to us young people as well. The CPHUI or Community Partnership Boards are a huge part of that youth adult partnership work. There are five CPHUI on Oahu, Kauai, Maui, East and East West Hawaii. So they serve as ambassadors or connectors to the work for the communities. The high youth leaders also sit on the CPHUI and develop strong adult partnerships. For me, it's been a pleasure to work alongside my CP Hui and Toby Taniguchi of KPA Superstores on our East Hawaii CP Hui. Um, um, I really took my um, CP Hui role very seriously mm -hmm. as an ambassador, as a supporter, as, as a connector. And over the years, you know, I, I was so fortunate, so fortunate to just come in contact with some amazing young people. Nelly, you know, for example, Keola. Um, Brianna, Tuan, Ace, you know, Glenn, and you know, Jane. I can I can name all these names. Billy and, and currently um, Kiko and Melissa, who's in the East Hawaii uh, High Hopes Board, and their resiliency, their you know, their integrity, their perseverance, their hard work. As we look forward, as we look forward to the future, whether it's Bill of Rights or the Pono process, you know, those are some of the things that we can continue to do and to continue to keep the momentum going to to help our young people. Yeah, super happy and privileged and honored to be afforded just the opportunity to to participate in and work in, at the CPUI level. We are honored to hear from Sandra Gasca Gonzalez, former director of the Jim Casey Initiative and now the vice president of the Center of Systems Innovation at Anna E. Casey Foundation. Since 2009, we have had the honor and the privilege of seeing the powerful work of Epic Ohana and the High Hopes Initiative through our strong partnership with the Jim Casey Youth Opportunities Initiative. And in the last 10 years, High Hopes has worked with so many partners to change over a dozen statewide policy and practice improvements for well being of young people, which is never easy. What is most impressive to me is the support that is provided to fill the hearts of young people and build lasting relationships. At a national level, High Hopes are fierce leaders in authentic youth engagement and a model of how young people should be supported so that they can always thrive. Melissa and I have had the privilege of becoming Jim Casey Young Fellows, and it is an honor to be able to work alongside so many amazing individuals from different states and to continue growing professionally at a national level. We've heard from our amazing partners and now we've be, we will be privileged to hear from our young leaders. Authentic youth engagement is really the heart of the High Hopes Initiative work and the foundation of living a legacy. High Hopes stands for Hawaii, helping our people envision success. Uh, High Hopes Youth Boards are made up of current and former foster youth between the ages of 14 to 26 who have spent at least one day in foster care. There are boards on Oahu, Maui, Kauai, West and East Hawaii, and the missions of the board is to educate, advocate, and collaborate for improved systems and well-being for young people impacted by foster care in Hawaii. Our boards meet monthly and they provide the voice of lived experience as the Youth Advisory Council for DHS Child Welfare Services and have educated thousands of professionals and youth over the years. We've ad advocated for legislative and other policy and practice reform, collaborated on campaigns, policies, and community events, and they've inspired so many through their dedication and pas passion. So let's hear from our High Hopes alumni now. What I'm most proud of is just seeing the generation that came up after us be able to reap the benefits of our advocacy. But the thing that I'm always most proud of is the transition ceremonies that we created here in East mm. Hawaii. The thing that like sticks out to me is supporting the, the passage of the normalcy and prudent parenting bill. Also another thing that I'm proud of is the influence and legacy I left behind. We do develop some really strong relationships uh, and then the connections too, right? Those connections in the community. Um, I often talk about how being on the board has changed the entire trajectory of my life. Being a minor mother, um, still in care when I joined the board, um, I didn't come honed and molded. You know, I'm a product of the High Hopes board, meaning I was loved, I was mentored, I was. Um, there was a lot, a lot of time invested into me as a person um, and as a professional. Um, again, when I think of you guys, no matter where you are in the world, 
that's that's how I feel. I always feel this connection. Um, and even though you know we don't live on the same island, some of us we don't live in the same state. I always miss you guys with all of my heart, and I feel like it's always going to be like that. Being able to share my story to be able to affect change, and that's the biggest thing that um, I feel that it's impacted my life. I hope has changed my life more than I changed High Hope's life. It helped me to foster a lot of relationships a lot of connections, a lot of opportunities. I got my very first job through High Hope. Uh, High Hope also gave me the opportunity to open my eyes, uh, do a lot of speaking engagements in the mainland, doing a lot of traveling, uh, meeting various people of different backgrounds, cultures, identities. I believe if it wasn't for this board, I would not be where I am today. As someone who's been a part of the High Hope Youth Leadership Board on Kauai for the last seven years, um, High Hopes has truly impacted who I am completely. Things that my voice is important, you know, that my life experience matters, that I can thrive regardless of my circumstance, that I'm more than just a foster youth. I'm more than just a former foster youth. I was able to get one of my first big jobs through the work of High Hopes and my connection to Ethical Hana and, you know, really just um, being mentored, but also being like, have those connections with my peers who's also been through foster care and had those similar experiences because um, that was so empowering to me. So let's take a look at a couple of the ways, a couple of the ways the High Hopes initiative has, initiative has impacted the lives of young people. We've heard many of our speakers talk about Imoakako or voluntary care up until 21. This program has now helped so many young leaders over the last six years. So since 2014, 475 young adults have participated in Imoakako. The High Hopes Initiative has also contributed to the financial well-being of young people since 2010 through the High Hopes Match Program. As you can see from the slide currently showing, since 2010, a total of 837 young people, youth and young adults have participated in the High Hopes Match Program. And as of September 2020, Young people have made $1.3 million worth of asset purchase expense, uh, asset, asset purchases. Right now, my heart is so full of pride and joy and love. And, and I'm just so appreciative of all the, the legacy. Living a legacy means not just the past, it's also the future. It's only, and it's not just the work, it's also the relationships and the people. To each and every one of you, um, thank you for walking on this journey with us. At this time, we're gonna take a group photo. So you all should have our high hopes map with the hashtag living a legacy. And can we take one little moment to unmute ourselves so we can just have a celebratory round of applause for all of the great work of high hopes. <laughs> Great job, you all. Awesome. We invite you to join us in our efforts to live a legacy through authentic youth engagement, youth adult partnership, community collaboration, and improved outcomes and well being for young people impacted by foster care in Hawaii. Please go ahead and follow us on social media uh, for our updates and to view our ongoing work. This concludes our event. We hope that you stay well, be healthy and safe, and show aloha to one another out there. Aloha, mahalo, and take care.